What's good, guys? What's good? I'm up in this thing. I'm up in this thing. I'm trying to win this thing. Got my glasses on. The, the lights are messing with my eyes. I got my eyes dilated today. I'm trying to get y'all in. See if I can connect with here. I'm up in this man. So I have to end this man. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. It is what it is. You might see me with glasses on once in a while now. Just because I like the way this look. You feel me? Hair jiggling. I got my eyes dilated, so. Mm-hmm. See if anybody tunes in. Pro maker and body machine. All right, guys. You got any questions? Uh, um, got to do these Q and A's. Plus, you you heard from me in a couple of days, so I got to stay relevant in your mind. All right, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get that over with. All right, guys. So, uh, somebody wanted the last time I checked in, somebody wanted to do a video over. Let me just go over the one thing about the Pro Maker embroidery machine. Let me just start off with the price. The price is the best price you're going to get for an embroidery machine. If you know the guys, I didn't told y'all guys before, pretty much all these machines are the same machine. All right? So. Ain't much difference in them. The only difference in them is the name somebody wrote on them. But I see some people still want to go with that. All right. Um, you know, I know that some people like a Toyota is a Lexus. They want the Lexus regardless. And it's the same engine underneath both of them. All right, guys. These got the same engine underneath both of them. The only thing is this one's got a different name. I keep telling y'all guys that. And people, people still like, keep asking the same questions. All right, they made, they probably made in the same factory or next door to each other. You, you hundred dig? Um, just go, dude. Get the, get the, get the pro maker, man. Only reason, another reason I say the price. Another reason y'all guys got me. Y'all don't have nobody that's dedicated like me out there serving no other brand. Um, if they do, let me know. I don't know. Uh. I tell you, I'm, I'm a, I post videos all the time for people in the comments. That's something else that no other, no other brand is doing. Um, you know, I guess I'm just an ambassador of the brand. Only because, you know, they work deals with me. So I just feel like I need to uh, give back to you guys. You know, help you guys out. Uh, so, like I told you before, another thing is like any embroidery machine, guys. If you been if you haven't had an embroidery machine, or if you hadn't had a multi needle, if you hadn't had a embroidery machine, first of all, that's gonna be a hard transition. Period. Just because you're going from not an embroidery machine to a machine, period, to go into this. And if you, you know, if you at least had a sewing machine, you understand bobbins and threads. You maybe you understand that. But you have to, the thing is, how often did you use it? You know, I didn't have many sewing machines basically around me all my life, but. You know, I, I knew how to use them when I needed to. You feel me? Uh, you know, I got my Pro Makers. I got a few Pro Makers. Uh, the reason why I'm not sewing right now is because I sometimes it, there's a mess of, a mistake in the... Uh, <laughs> and I don't think I'll be able to tell a mistake. You know, sometimes... It's, it's a jump stitch, it jumps, a little piece of thread is sticking out, and I won't be able to notice that. So I don't want to ship nobody, you know, bad hats and get a uh, a return or nothing. That's what I'm trying to do, guys, cut down on returns. Uh, like I said, uh, business, I'm going to throw that business in here. So if you want to uh, have some good stuff, guys, make sure you all have the best quality that you can get. All right? Stop, stop trying to cut corners. I mean, you're going to cut corners on the price, right? But. When it's time to get the business, like what you're going to give to somebody, that's when you don't cut corners. Like me, I'm not cutting no corners when it comes to uh, what I'm going to give to you. Me, I'm going to cut corners when I give. You know, I'm going to get a, I'm gonna get a save money, some money on an embroidery machine. 
you know, I might try to save money here or there. I'm trying to get the, the, the uh, hats that I already know that are good. Probably try to get them a little lower. Stuff like that. You understand? Um, but besides that, no, nah, guys, I'm trying to uh, make sure my end, my end user get the best, you know, they get the best quality of the stuff I can I pr can produce at that time. You know, when I start getting more money, my quality is going to come up. I'm all I'm I'm chasing the quality. I'm not chasing the quantity. You know, if y'all trying to follow my brand, it's called limited exclusives for a reason. It's not uh, it's not called mass production for a reason. I'm not trying to mass produce nothing. I'm just having limited and exclusive so I can raise my my price per unit. Um, you know, I'm just gonna be the best quality that I can. And that's just how it's gonna work. So I, I hope y'all guys get us a good suggestion that y'all try to follow the same steps I'm following because it's working out for me. So um, same thing is uh, as most now that I know a lot. A lot more about embroidery machines. I'm glad I chose this guy, these guys, because they help me out so much. You know, they. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what it is. So if y'all got any questions, you always can comment a question. I'll usually get back to them on my next video. It's got to be a hat hoop, but I can't do the uh, the hoops right now. I mean, how how to hoop hats. I'll give you a little jest about how to hoop hats, only because I can't see what I need to hoop. I mean, I can't see and tell you all the techniques that I use. All right, so we got the hat, right? I'm going to give you all this quick technique tutorial real quick, because I know it's a lot of people that they have problems with that, so they stay away from them, they get scared. Yeah, I need to fix this one anyway, so... No matter what you have, you have one, one version of this, you have the same version. So you see this little lip right here, right? You see that little lip right here? I take this little brim. First of all, you better be pulling all your brims back like that. And I take the little brim and I slide, I like turn it sideways and I slide it under. My son does it. So I taught my son how to do it always. So I slide it all the way under right there and I butt it up against there. So it's basically, you see how that is like this. So it's that brim is underneath that little collar part. And then, so I'm like this. So it looks like this. And this is without a, a hat hoop. Uh, I've been doing this a long time. I probably could have hooped it without a hat hoop. See what I could do. And I take this. And, uh, no, I don't know. Maybe I could do it like this. So I'll take this, which y'all guys need to see. And I take this and I put this all the way into that seam. So if you're not getting it into the seam, that could be a problem. That's the other problem you guys get. Y'all uh y'all don't put the blade into the seam. Alright? The blade the this blade, this little rim thing needs to go inside inside to the seam of the hat. So where the the seams at you need to go inside the seam. So this gotta sit inside that seam that's right there. That's probably one of the problems a lot of people get. Like this one, I gotta mess with it. Gotta get some screws for it. Some of y'all guys don't got this single strand one. Actually, this was one I made. I made this one actually because I like this a little bit better. Now, for y'all that have another version, I'm gonna help y'all out too. So this might be your problem. You might you probably have a simple problem. Because y'all ain't figured it out, y'all just some newbies. All right, newbie. All right, you newbies. I got this for the newbies. So you got this. You're like, man, I can't get this thing to hoop on my thing for nothing. It's so tight, I can't get it to hoop nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm smashing the hats. I got to go to the side. You got to go to the side and see right here. And adjust this thing. It's gonna be adjusted all the way to the smallest hoop, also, always the whole, smallest one. So I take it and adjust it and I pull it all the way through. As you can see, how my thing sits like that. So instead of when you first start seeing this, these guys came up with a way and they, they slide it like underneath right here. 
no, guys. That's the rookie way. So I take it. I just take it over the top. I fold mine. I take mine over the top like a big dog. I just butt it up against those two screws right there. So I take it over the top like a big dog, butt it up against those screws. And I, I only and then let this one out a little bit, tighten the screws back. Hopefully you do that so you don't lose them screws like I lost two. That's why I'm going to go get some new screws for the other one that I made. But you should have like a little gap in here right here. So it's going to determine which hats you got. That's another problem, guys. You got to find out what hats uh, fit in there. So you got some big oversized hats. They're not going to fit in here. I got one that I specially made for an oversized hat. I adjusted everything to fit just the oversized hats. I'm going to do another one on hats that's oversized hats, too. But this is on the foot of regular hats because the oversized hats, are just, I've been figuring different ways to hoop them. I wouldn't hoop them the same way now because I used to break a lot of needles. Now I'm figuring another way to, to uh, hoop them without breaking needles. All right. Um, so, yeah, I might start just wearing glasses more often with you guys. What y'all guys think? The cool part about it is, you know, it makes my video when I'm not looking at you, I'm not. You can't tell if I'm not looking at you. So that was, I think that would help my video. So we'd be more into each other. All right. I could look around at other things. You're like, man, is he looking at me? Yeah, I'm looking at you. Um, so let's get into it. Um, with that said, I need to keep a pair of glasses in here. Thanks, myself. But yeah, guys, so that's what, that's probably going to help a lot of you guys out. If you're having trouble still with that hooping, talk to me, and I'll just walk you through it because it's pretty much easy. Um, once you once you did about uh, two or three thousand hats like me, <laughs> you start figuring it out. Because uh, you believe, believe, tell the truth. I probably I know I, I just two or three thousand hats. I probably ruined about a hundred hats. Probably a hundred, hundred fifty hats got ruined. So that's just. What it is, I'm still growing the hats today, but it's just I'm so rare when I do it. You know, it's a lot of a lot of factors going in. So once you, it's just about you getting your skills up, um, chewing, uh, you know, uh, not question um, answer, but uh, trial and uh, trial and error, you get your hoops up. So I gotta think about my hair. I'm finally finally getting some hang, some hang time up in there. Now I wish I would have just grew it all in. I'd be so so so, but I don't know when it. What I'm gonna do is try to grow the size. The size catch up. I'm gonna get it all evened out. Uh, I already thought about that. Once it all, I just get it all cut, kind of like this. Rock it like that. Like when that's what I wanted to do. I don't know. I just wanted to do that to get it trim. Yeah, probably I'm just going to start wearing it down anyway so y'all can't see that afro that's going to be on the side. Uh, 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 no, no, no. My next haircut ain't coming for a while anyway. I do the cutting of my own hair. So. I don't know if I can't tell if somebody's in here or not. If you're not, you're not commenting, so I know I can't help you. Also, guys, you got a time that you would like me to uh, be on, so y'all got, so just we could work out a time so we could go back and forth maybe once a week. We could uh, all come together on the same time so I can answer all y'all questions. Um, that's what I'm trying to do also, so it'll be beneficial for you guys. Uh, or this this goes to anybody that's doing embroidery, so it don't matter if you got questions, you got questions. I know they got those groups, those Facebook groups, but you know it ain't it ain't always good as it is when it's live. When you got your face, when you got your guy live telling you everything that you need to know, you know that's way better. You know if you got any questions, that's that's the only way to go, I think. Uh, so let's go into the. Um, I think I covered enough. But y'all struggling, I got y'all. And yeah, I can't tell if that's a zero or what. It don't even matter at this point, guys. I think I told y'all enough. Um,
Yeah, I got I'm, I've been clearing out downstairs so I could get into my uh, t-shirt. So, got to get into my t-shirt so I could just take off on them. Get the two shirts that match the hats. That's all I need. I got some motivation with the lids the other day. I seen how the lids set up. I'm like, all right, y'all want to do that? I could just do shirts. I don't have to. I don't need to do uh, jerseys. I don't even know if jerseys got the same markup as t-shirts. You know, the only thing about jerseys they they come and sell. Boom, you sell one jersey, you know it's a lot more money. But markup wise, t-shirts has to have them. T-shirts you probably make you can make five, ten times your money easy. That's why a lot of brands uh, start with t-shirts. That's why I was trying to get into the embroidery t-shirts, but I don't. It, to me, it seems like I don't know if, if that'll take off just because people are not used to having embroidered t-shirts, you know. You know, they used to have a lot of people are used to just graphic tees. You know, that'd be me trying to get them out of their comfort zone into something. You know, that's a lot to uh, do. But you know, maybe at a trend one day where people are wearing embroidery t shirts again back like the 70s and 80s, and they gotta be ready to take off. But I don't know, I'm gonna really dig down deep in this cap game. Um, just like every other cap place they sell year round. So, uh, you know, I plan to be selling these year round, and we just go from there. Christmas season, you know, it's, just, it's nice down there in California. They can wear trucker caps year round, so get real acquainted with these truckers. I also got these. Uh, I just got these in. I'm trying to get my own caps made. That's coming soon. So I like these. Uh, like these with pond. Ooh, pond. So now I'm looking. There's no way possible. This guy gave me got me a kid hat. He had to. But no, it's not the, It's the same size. Why is this thing so tight and small though? Mm -hmm. I can see the fall. I might have seen these hats. I don't like to see that fold in it. I've seen these hats myself. Well, some of these be sitting at companies you don't know how long. But this ain't like the same hat. Except for this thing looks like super tight. So that was a Rapon. The thing just seems so tight and babyish. I do like the way they look. You know, I mean, Easy E back in the day. All right, guys, I think y'all guys got enough for me today. Um, if y'all got any questions, just drop a line. I'll get back to you guys. I'm going to just sign off on you, all right? Till next time, holla at your boy, holla at your Rob Roy. Wait a minute, let's get into it.